Science and journalism are not the same thing. They don't follow the same rules. They don't follow the same expectations. And people in journalism who say, oh, follow the science and, you know, like, you know, who, who think that they know, even though they recognize that actually they're enumerate and don't know what they're talking about, uh, are making a tragic and profound error by imagining that science and journalism are the same thing. Same thing, science and the law. Totally different expectations, you know, in, in basically every regard. And so, yeah, as... as you know, for me, as both a scientist and someone who is who is you know an active creator in you know non scientific creator space, uh, I can I definitely feel the like oh boy if I've if I've written a thing that is just explicitly creative that is not nonfiction, um, the idea of it being grabbed by someone else and turned into uh, you know the, something in a different medium. Uh, would feel like, oh God, you know, can you, ah, like, what, what are you going to do to it? That thing was mine. Whereas with science, uh, you know, there are ideas, there are formulations that are yours because you came up with them, but they don't belong to you. They belong to the universe, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they, you know, you have, it is discovery. It is discovery rather than creation. Mm -hmm. And that is a fundamental difference. And you know what journalism is doing, what journalism and law are entirely human constructs, as is you know the human creative process. Whereas science is about discovery and the humans don't come first. Well, so let's draw the distinction. The stuff, the model that you happen onto is a feature of the universe if your model is accurate. Yeah. The process by which you come by it may be just you. And frankly, you may not even know what it is because, you know, as, as we have pointed out multiple times, you can tell a student, oh, you make an observation about a pattern and then you come up with a hypothesis. Right. What you can't do is then explain, oh, here's how you're gonna come up with your hypothesis. Right? Well, and, and, the it, and the coming up with the hypothesis is the is the core of the creative part of science. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And it's not even something that those of us who are good at it can explain how no. we do it, right? No, because the, you can't, you can't, right. n n nor can the sculptor looking at the stone uh, describe to a, a, a mentee, like, this is, this is what you're going to do to find the inspiration in the stone. Yeah. And, you know, there, there are bits and pieces and, you know, and you could practice and you can watch the the person learning to hypothesize or the person learning to sculpt uh, say, oh, I wouldn't, you know, see that there's that crack there. And if you do that, it's likely to cause this problem over here. Uh, but you can't, there is no recipe. Yeah. There is no recipe. The only thing I can do with hypothesis is show you how I come up with one. And then you can see if you can find your way to something that does the same job. Yeah. Let's, and, let's play. Let's, yeah. let's, let's now go outside into the complexity and, and look around and wait for the questions to occur. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, and then. And then play around with the ideas that show up and see like wh which of these are hypotheses. Yep. Oh, some of them aren't hypotheses because they're un you know they're they're untestable. And in fact, um, one of the pickles that we find ourselves in in the present is that because the science is no longer taking place in the university, right? Some yep. simulation of science is taking place there, but it's obviously pretty feeble given oh. what it's incapable of doing. Um, we are now doing this stuff in the open, which is kind of not the way it's supposed to be. And it means that, you know, in order to come up with a hypothesis, you have to entertain a lot of things that don't qualify. Right. Right. You have to, you have to free yourself enough that you're not constantly shouting at yourself that that's an irresponsible idea to traffic in. Right. So, right, right. um, so anyway, you play with these ideas and then hopefully by the time you get a around to voicing it, you've edited down to something that you can make some kind of defense of. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's no defending the thought process that comes up with a, a viable hypothesis because it considered 40 that weren't viable. You have to try out everything possible. Yeah. And anybody who thinks that they're going to micromanage you and keep you away from bad ideas is also keeping you away from usable ideas because you can't get to a hypothesis without that license. And they've demonstrated that they don't do science and they don't know what science is. Yeah. They, yeah. It's, that's about power or at least at best, it's about confusion about mm -hmm. a process that they're not able to do. Yeah. Power, confusion, censorship, one or all of those. Mm -hmm.